Hello students, in this video I will explain one important question which will be asked definitely in the exam and uh, this is a long answer question. Generally the name of the function will be given and you have to define the function, you have to write the domain and the range of the function and draw the graph of the function. Now see this first one, identity function. Now what is identity function? First you have to define it. The question will be asked like this. Define identity function, draw the graph of the function and also write the domain and range of this function. And first to see the, what is identity function is. See the function is defined like this. Let R be the set of real numbers. Define the real function f from R to R by y is equal to f of x which is equal to x for each x belongs to R. This question is very simple and first you have to write the domain and range of this function. See here for what values of x f of x is defined? f of x is defined for every real number therefore the domain is real number only and as f of x is defined for every real number domain is real number and what is the collection of all image and uh, every real number is a image because what is the image of 5? 5 and what is the image of 13? 13 that's why all the real number occurs as an image therefore you should remember the domain and range it is very simple and the domain is R and range is also R and you should remember this and domain of identity function is the set of real number and range of the identity function is a real number and the graph of the function you have to draw the graph of the function it is also very simple and uh, you know how to draw the graph of the function in the previous class you already drawn you have to take the two lines one is horizontal line and call it as x axis name it as x o x dash and here x negative side is x dash and vertical line is named as y o y dash and one unit distance call it as 1 2 3 4 and so on and left side minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on above the x axis 1 2 3 4 below the x axis minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and so on and this you know how to represent the points on a graph sheet and now you put x equal to 0 when x equal to 0 what is the value of y y is 0 and uh, therefore this is one point 0 comma 0 is one point when x equal to 1 what is y y is 1 because y is equal to x and this is 1 comma 1 is the other point and let us take one more point when x equal to minus 2 what is y minus 2 and minus 2 comma minus 2 is the third point and if we join this you will get a straight line and that itself the graph of the function y is equal to x and next let us take one more function constant function the definition of constant function is like this define the function f from r to r by y is equal to f of x equal to c for all x belongs to r where c is a constant you have the idea of constant 2 is constant pi is constant and let us take it as c where c is any real number it may be 2 4 3 minus 1 0 anything but uh, once you take the value it is fixed that's all that is called a constant here it may be taken like like this y is equal to f of x equal to 2.5 and this is a constant function in general the function f from r to r defined by y is equal to f of x is equal to c for all x belongs to r is called as constant function and now what is the domain and range of the function and it is defined for all the real number y is defined for all the real number what is f of 10 f of 10 is c what is f of minus 1 f of minus 1 is also c what is f of 0 f of 0 is c and for every real number it is defined and it is equal to c therefore what is the domain of the function domain is the set of real number 
and what are the values taken by the function you can observe the function will take only one value that is c and that itself the range of the function all the real number maps to the same number c therefore that is the only one element in the range and uh, just uh, remember the domain and range of the constant function what is the domain of the function is r set of real number and its uh, range is a single ton set that is c which contains only one element and let us draw the graph of the function which is similar to the previous one and you have to take one horizontal line and call it as x o x dash and vertical line y o y dash and a number this and uh, you need not uh, draw it in a graph sheet in the exam it is sufficient if you draw this on a answer sheet and here you take the point what is the point here 0 put x equal to 0 what is y y is c let us draw let us take the value of particular value of c and draw otherwise uh, we cannot uh, fix the position and to draw i will take c is equal to 2.5 see here when x equal to 0 what is y c c is 2.5 0 comma c this is point c and 0 comma c is 1 point and when x equal to 1 then also c x equal to 1 and y c same distance 2.5 only 1 comma c and x equal to minus 2 then also it is c minus 2 comma c and you will get these three points and you can join these three points and you will get a straight line and while representing a straight line you should remember that at the end of each side of the line you have to put an arrow mark and this is the graph of the constant function now let us come to the polynomial function and uh, the general definition of the polynomial function is like this a function f from r to r is said to be polynomial function if for each x in r y is equal to f of x is equal to a0 plus a1x plus a2x square plus so on a n x power n we studied this polynomial function in the previous class and the same definition where n is any non-negative integer and then may be non-negative integer that means it may be uh, 1 2 3 and etc okay and the n is any non-negative integer and here a0 a1 a2 so on a n are the real number and uh, this is a polynomial function we have to draw a particular function and one is the function f of x equal to x square see so here f from r to r defined by y is equal to f of x equal to x square for all x belongs to r this is one polynomial function and uh, this is the equation of a parabola and what is the domain of this function and f of x is defined for all real number what is f of 1 1 what is f of 2 2 square 4 what is f of minus 3 minus 3 square 9 and it is defined for every real number therefore the domain is the set of real number and what is the range here you know that x square never becomes negative x square is always positive it may be equal to 0 but it will never take the negative real numbers that's why what is the range of the function set of all positive real number including the 0 that is uh, the domain is the set of real number whereas the range is x such that x is greater than or equal to 0 for all x belongs to r all positive real number including 0 is the range of this function and if you draw the graph of the function it will be like this see here and uh, different values of x we have taken when x equal to minus 4 it is 16 minus 3 9 when x is minus 2 it is 4 and minus 1 1 when x equal to 0 it is 0 1 it is 1 2 it is 4 when it, x equal to 3 it is 9 when x equal to 4 it is 16 and let us draw the graph 0 0 1 1 2 4 3 9 4 16 and in negative side minus 1 1 minus 2 4 minus 3 9 minus 4 16 and so on and if you 
plot all these points and you will get a curve like this this is the graph of the function y is equal to x square i'll take one more polynomial the function f from r to r defined by f of x equal to x cube for all x belongs to r and this is a polynomial and here f of x is defined for every real number what is f of 3 3 cube that's equal to 27 what is f of minus 1 minus 1 cube minus 1 cube is equal to minus 1 here either x may be positive negative or 0 x cube is defined and therefore what is the domain of this function the set of real number and the range of the function here x cube takes all the real value whereas x square take only positive real numbers including 0 x cube may take positive value as well as negative value therefore the range of the function is also real number and you remember the domain and range of the function domain is the set of real number and the range is also the set of real number and to draw the graph of the function you have to take the different values of x and plot the point as earlier that is to take the x axis x o x dash and y o y dash and when x equal to 0 y is 0 0 cube is 0 when x equal to 1 1 cube 1 when x equal to 2 2 cube 8 when x equal to 3 3 cube 27 when x equal to minus 1 minus 1 cube is equal to minus 1 when x equal to minus 2 minus 2 cube is minus 8 when x equal to minus 3 minus 3 cube is equal to minus 27 and these are the different points and if you plot these points and join the smooth free hand curve you will get the graph of the function y is equal to x cube 0 0 1 1 2 8 3 27 it is not possible to get it in the graph and similarly minus 1 minus 1 minus 2 minus 8 if you join all these points you will get a graph like this and this is the graph of the function y is equal to x cube or f of x equal to x cube and with this much i will conclude this session and in the next video i will explain the other important functions thank you